This minute of Skate the Infinity starts with Oka interrupting the boys' silly mucking around time. And ends with Sketchy taking just the cutest little nap. Little nap! So cute. This is minute five of episode 11. King versus Nobody. Hi, Jono. He's so cute. He's so Hi, Caitlin. Cute. He's having a little nap. Happy um, Golden Globes Day to those who celebrate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the awards mean nothing unless my faves win. <laughs> and our faves did sweep. <laughs> they did indeed win. <laughs> uh, not Oppenheimer. Swim. Not you, Oppenheimer. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Get out. Ex- except for, Get out of here, Nolan. Except for Best Actor. Thank you for taking it from Bradley Cooper. Not that I've seen Maestro, oh, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Bradley Cooper deserves nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the last good flick you saw Bradley Cooper in? Um, you can say The Hangover. It's allowed. I don't actually know. Right. I don't know. I, I can't name he, it one. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, fuck. As that, the raccoon. Is that allowed? Like, As a voice? Did he do mocap for that? I don't know. I don't know. That'd you can't great. tell it's his voice. Him and Vin Diesel <laughs> in mocap suits. So um, dumb. He was good in Licorice Pizza. Oh, he I haven't like seen that. He had like a guest that. role in that. I have yeah, not seen that. With the Haim sisters and their real family. That's wild. This is uh, Infinite Minute, an anime by minute podcast where we talk about Skate the Infinity and the Heim sisters minute by minute. Heim? Haim? I'm Haim. Jonathan. I never know how to pronounce it. I'm Caitlin. Um, and this is a cute as heck minute. And it was really so, long. Like I felt it like felt it long, went right? long. That being said, I did accidentally watch like an extra 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, no. Because <laughs> I was just into it. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, but... Oh, actually, before we start, I got to do a corrections alley. Um, <laughs> Hit me. So I was catching up on some old episodes uh, in the car on the way home from work, and um, we started ragging <laughs> on a Legend of Korra ship. <laughs> we went in. And in my head, I was like, yeah, fucking Opal. And then <laughs> we just started calling her Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> In the podcast, I was like, what the fuck are we talking about? So I apologise to any uh, Opal stands out there um, for we calling were wrong. it. We were wrong. And Bolin and Opal yeah. is a shit ship. <laughs> yeah. But I fully support Bolin and Pearl from Steven Universe <laughs> as a ship. Oh, yeah. Because she would fix his shit. No, Pearl's a lesbian. Yeah, she pretty much is. Yeah. yeah. They they pretty much all are. They pretty much all are. There's no true. there's no bi representation in <laughs> Steven Universe. <laughs> no, not, at, not all. at all. Anyway, no. corrections alley. We're done. No, nice. we're done. Let's get to the minute. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Um, Where do we leave off? Recky and Lunga playing around with Sketchy got hit in the face by little mm. boards, um, and Daddy Oka returns from whatever he was doing. Yeah, where's he been? Where has he been, actually? Did he just leave them all by themselves? Yeah, with jobs to do that they're not doing. <laughs> you finished cleaning? <laughs> you finished cleaning? What were they cleaning? Right. There's doing no that mop. Thing where you clean the bench multiple times. Yeah, there's but there's no mop or broom or anything. They just have a bucket of water. I was trying to read what this poster said on the bench in a closer shot later, but you can see it much better here. Hirano Ayumu. Mm, is that a skateboarder? Caitlin, we have the technology. We do. It's a snowboarder. Oh. A Japanese Olympic champion and three-time Olympic medalist snowboarder and Olympic skateboarder. Oh, both. He does it all. Cute. Some Lunga inspiration. Some inspo. Yeah. And they've got like a little picture of him there, but he's got some pretty mad dreads. Oh, nice. He's Japanese? Yeah. Oh, sick. He's a short king. <laughs> 1.65 metres. I feel That's like shorter than me. skateboarding must be easier if you're shorter. Mm, low centre of gravity. I feel like that would work better for you. His listed weight is 50 kilograms. Oh, come That's on. That's unreal. 
come at on. 165, far out. That's a thin yeah, that's, man. That he is. Well, yeah, I guess that's how he does the spins so well. Oh, yeah. You're right. In the air. Yeah, well, absolutely Now, now right. we've solved that case. <laughs> um, Lunga's taking the water out from behind. Yeah. Um, so as you were trying to work out what that poster said, I was trying to work out what the um, – the sign, what the 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 poster on the roof says, and I think it's oh. heaven. It could be Kevin. <laughs> Kevin 07. Ke- oh, don't. That was truly a joyous time in Australian history. <laughs> Ospol, sound the klaxon. Um, when he went on Rove. Yeah. <laughs> cringe. <laughs> we loved it though. We did. We we ate it up. We we, we really bought did. right into it. Yeah. Um, we went. We couldn't even vote. We weren't even the right age. I w- oh no, actually you're right. Oh seven, seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. First election we had a say in. I think it was Gillard who got in. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Whenever our elections happen, we didn't get a lot of say in a lot of them. <laughs> after that, no. No. <laughs> We really didn't. No. No, they, there was a lot of um, backstabbing. Spilling. Yeah. Spilling anyway. Kevin and what's the other one say? Eagle, Earth. I think. Eagle. How did I misread eagle. that? Eagle. <laughs> Clearly says eagle. <laughs> uh, and Sketchy is going to get some dog food? Yeah, I was confused about this too. I wonder what you're meant to feed. A fox? Yeah. I would think that. fox. I would think that cat food would be closer to a fox mm. than a dog Do we would think be. The internet would tell us what to feed a fennec fox. We have the technology, which is also my new um, tongue twister. What, <laughs> what to, to feed, feed a fennec fox? <laughs> fennec fox feed. Uh, they're omnivorous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, domesticated fennec fox. Fuck Google sucks. What do I feed? Do you have to ask it a question? What do I feed? Maybe. A domesticated fennec fox. Most owners feed their fennecs a mix of dog food, cat food, vegetables, and fruit. Oh, there you go. So dog food's perfectly fine. We apologize, Oka. Yeah. We shouldn't have questioned uh, the the true dad. Do you think um, Oka takes Sketchy home? Do you think Oka lives at Dope Sketch? I hope he takes Sketchy home. <laughs> I hope he doesn't live at Dope Sketch. Okay. Yeah, because that's always a sad sitch. Yeah. When someone, like, lives. Basically, you're shitting where you eat. I don't know. I've read some, like, fun fan fictions where the person has lived above the bar that they bartend at, and, you know, it always True. leads to hijinks. It's like a whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Luke in Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I haven't seen Gilmore Girls. So oh no! No, I'm not Gilmore peeled. Oh, Gil peeled, as they say. Is that is that the term? <laughs> no, I don't think anyone's ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> Surely it's only fish who are Gil peeled. Am I right? Am Shit, I this right? This is like a tight five. <laughs> um, Oka. Oka starts off model, and as he gets progressively closer to Ricky, he he is still off model. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it not changes. looking good for Oka. Yeah, his <laughs> eyes like Whoa. each step he takes, his face warps into <laughs> oh, something completely different. Now, what is the reason for that? Is that key animation, or is that Ooh. like like the the key animation uh, fill ins aren't like connected right? I think I don't it's... Know, something's going on. Yeah. This whole minute, I felt like there were a lot of missing mouth flaps as well. Yes, yeah, it was very mm. much bare minimum. For sure. Bare minimum where they could. But, yeah, his his face was a little bit funky in a lot of shots. Mm. I really, I, it didn't sound stilted, but it sounded like, I don't know, funny when uh, Dub Oka was like, Seems like you are doing better. <laughs> it was like <laughs> yeah. saying each word. I liked it. I liked mm. it. Yeah. I didn't hate it. I, I think it was the same when he says understood as well because it was clearly understood. to fill in the three mouth flaps. Um, yeah. But There's almost a bit of sarcasm about it. Seems like you are doing better. Like Yeah. Yeah. It mm. seems like you're doing better. But it's a cute little conversation. Yeah. I liked it. 
I don't really know if there was anything that Oka said that he needs to apologize for. No. But maybe it's more of just like, I'm sorry if something I said hurt you, which is always the cop-out apologies. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry if you got offended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While they play a ukulele. <laughs> Oh, no. I love that that's become, like, the go-to now for apologies. Where's the ukulele? Right. Where is it? (laughs) Got to bring it out. (laughs) Oh, no. I mean, Ricky tells him, you don't have anything to apologize for. It's good. You like, you got me out of the funk. Yeah. He's had an epiphany, you know? Um, And he realizes that he's different, but that's fine. Hmm. You know? Yeah, it, it's and it's less of a realization of like lesser than. It's more of a I am different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm just entitled to like and enjoy skateboarding and do skateboarding as much as them. Doesn't matter. And then Ricky does this cute little pose where he's like, <laughs> "Oh, the hand behind hand the head, behind the neck, yeah, and the other hand behind the back." Classic, like shy protagonist protag pose. <laughs> But it was cute though. I liked it. It was very cute. I love yeah. it. It's always like such like a little, yeah, quirky thing that they do. Look Does at me. Anyone I'm anyone so ever cute. do that in real life? Uh, <laughs> so let me scratch the back of my head real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to be really self conscious if I actually do it in real life. Yeah. How are we moving our hands? <laughs> I was thinking about that a lot in past lives. Just any movie, really, now where I'm just, like, watching acting and how acting happens and the act of acting and stuff like that and, like, what choices they're making and how many lines are lies. Oh, (laughs) really? Like, how many lines of dialogue that they're saying where the character obviously believes the other thing that they're not saying, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I can't remember if that was something that was taught to us in acting school or someone said at acting school, but it's, like, I don't know where I got it from, but it's something that I notice a lot. Yeah, right. I guess it's just subtext, right? Yeah. Like what's not being said, but yeah. what's not being said is usually the exact opposite of what is being said. Yeah. 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 I know what you mean. Um, yeah. I saw Anyone But You last week, uh, which is the Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just Rom-com. Rom-com, if you could call rom-com. it that. A rom-com um, romp. But did you know that it is an adaptation of Much Ado About Nothing? The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> so we're back on Shakespeare yeah. rom-coms now. But it was not marketed like that at all. That is so... What are marketing people... Like, what are they getting fucking paid yeah, for Truly, nowadays? because everyone went in to see it and was like, guys, this is a this is a Much Ado adaptation. And everyone was like, what the fuck? Are they- Sign me up. Is it modern language adaptation? Yes. It yeah. is, but there are these really She's the man funny. Yet. Yes, but there are these really funny moments where they lean into the fact that it's they're doing asides, and so mm. like a couple of the characters will be like, "Oh, stepfather, did you hear about this?" And it's like so over the top that it's funny. Right. Yeah. I did not know that it was an adaptation. No. That's so funny. Yes. It was, uh, I mean, the acting was um, questionable, but, like, it was mm. very fun. And it's set in Australia, so that is always yeah, leads so weird. to, you know, funniness at the Australian Are they accent. American? Or are they doing Australian accents? Uh, it's, like, kind of half-half. So there are, the, there are some Australian right. characters and some American characters, um, and then Rachel Griffiths playing an American character, which is very bizarre. <laughs> Why, like, uh, can't we just cast Australians? And because everything's being shot in Australia now, it feels like the pool yeah. of actors is like Jackie Weaver. <laughs> yeah. Rachel Griffith. Griffith. Yeah. And the one that was in. Tony Collette? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> you knew it. You knew it. <laughs> I gotcha. I couldn't even. I can't. I, knives Out. She was in Knives <laughs> yes. Out. Yes. Hey, we yeah. had Sarah Snook and Elizabeth Debicki won Golden Globes today. Just they to do. bring it back. Australia represent. Australia. Yeah. We've got some actresses out there. But they're too big for Australia now. They are. Sad. They are. We're a big country. Oh no, no, um, isn't Sarah Snook doing thingy over here? Oh no, she's doing it in the UK, isn't in she? In England, yeah. Boo. Yeah. Dorian Gray. 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, did you see the great meme of uh, Glenn and Sydney where it was like they look like mice who are enjoying their last hour before the potion wears off? Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it was so fucking accurate, like so laser perfect. precision <laughs> memeing. So fucking funny. <laughs> People are so good on there. I'm I, right. That how do they come up with die. that shit? It can't you just die. look at that photo, and it's just like, yeah, they're mice. <laughs> like fucking hell! But it's so like spot oh, on. Laser. So fucking funny. funny. Anyway, we're, we're um. So should I see it? Is it worth seeing, or is it worth just wait a couple of months and wait till VOD or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait yeah, till it's true and watch it as a fun thing. Yeah, I can I, never remember. Yeah. I, I we've talked about this before. I can never remember which one much ado is uh it's the one where it's like um the the two that hate each other uh yes but then they're ruin- they're ruining the wedding so everyone's like let's get them yes. to go- get along and between claudio yeah and yeah I, that's the one i've done yeah <laughs> <laughs> Pro- professional yes why um, can't i remember this except they made claudio claudia and they made it a gay wedding so that was cute oh hell yeah yeah it was very cute. Snaps for the lesbians. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Penny Wong voted against uh, marriage equality, Ospol. <laughs> Did she really? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's wild. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I read it the that's other day because I'm crazy. Oh my God, like, what are you doing, Penny? Uh, anyway. Yeah. So at uh, some point, you lose yourself, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Al- along the way, you just lose whatever version of yourself uh, you were. Yeah. And become. Your parents. <laughs> yeah. No matter what generation oh you come from. Oh my god, from. I know what you mean. Yeah, I'm becoming more and more boomer. Anyway, Ricky's doing a cute pose. He's doing a cute pose. Um, and they get interrupted by the door opening. Uh, the cute little bell jingly noise, and um, they welcome. How's it going? How's it going? Or irashaimasen. It a shame, uh, and Lang- have you ever been to a place where they do that? Yeah, man, I've been to Japan. I mean, you've been to fucking Japan, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, man, I've been to Japan. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> they do it in Japan. Have you been somewhere where they do that? <laughs> yes, but I've not been no. to Japan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Ippido in mm. QV, <laughs> where they sound less and less enthused about saying it. <laughs> Oh, no. I remember I went to an Ippido in New York and they were like, Hello! and it was like, oh, yeah, fuck, this is the experience. Yeah. And then I would go to the one in Melbourne and they're just like, Nasha, oh, yeah, Nasha, <laughs> It's just like, Get fuck in here. Yeah, all right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Get in here and eat your overpriced ramen. <laughs> yes, they all greet the customer that they think is a customer, sorry. Mm. It is not. It is, it is. the guy from the Love Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me <laughs> it's just the wildest thing to say oh excuse you actually <laughs> and their faces are so funny but then yeah, also i gotta get that Lunga is so shocked but then he's like what is a love hotel so why were you shocked in the first place bro yeah that's like uh when someone asks you, oh, have you heard of, have you watched this? And you're like, yeah. And they start explaining and you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why I said yes. I, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I lied under social pressure. <laughs> I haven't seen A Beautiful Mind. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> right. Uh, he's, he immediately regrets saying it. Yeah. No, 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 that's not what I meant. It's very funny. What this is, is a very funny hotel? moment. That was a great yeah. dub by Howard. Howard? Fucking, th- something was in the water yeah. for Howard's record sesh for this bit. He loved, he, he was, was so funny. He was having fun. He really was. He probably saw the like beady eye longer and was just like, oh, dumb. Dumb. Yeah. Let's play dumb, dumb. as I can go. Dumb himbo moment. Yeah. Well, it's our love hose, how? And then what did Ricky say in the English? Now you're pushing it. Now uh, you're pushing it. Yeah. Oh, how funny. 
even like this the thick crayony lines on um cartoony lines on Ricky are very funny as well. Yeah, we haven't had like a proper crayony shot in a while, but there's been a lot of those like thicker outlined. I miss the crayon moments. backgrounds. They must have taken too much work. <laughs> Yes, we haven't seen one. They're like, what What do you mean draw the background twice? <laughs> we do not have the yeah, time draw for Draw the background and then draw it again, but like a child. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're already drawing bad, not on purpose. <laughs> we can't do any more of this. For you, uh, says Tadashi as he hands um, over the love heart rose. Uh, Utena <laughs> style. It really envelope. is Utena style. Yeah, right. What is Challenging it? Challenging someone to a deal. Uh, and now we finally get to see uh, the writing, dear the third wheel. Yeah, it is. It is revealed. It's revealed. Third wheel, though. Third wheel. Yeah, he does read it out in English in the Japanese. Um, <laughs> And Lunga surprisingly has to explain it to him. <laughs> Which made sense in the Japanese. Because <laughs> yes. it's like he's translating, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, and, and he like kind of simplifies it a bit. Like yes, someone, someone that's, in the, that's in the way. Whereas in the English, it's just like, <laughs> how thick is Ricky? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. he doesn't. Well, you can't have three wheels on a board. <laughs> Right? It, this bit makes Ricky look so fucking dumb. <laughs> and, I mean, to, fair dues, he is. He is. Like, they both yeah. are. It's surprising yeah. that Lunga actually understands it. It is surprising, yeah. And it's also like a serious kind of like, I don't know, this pose that Lunga's doing where he's showing a bit of neck. Mm. It's very by Shonen uh, Lunga. Mm, definitely. I don't if think you it's have about three a board. Wheels, <laughs> that's not enough. Everything is a skateboarding. Oh, everything. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. They have to relate everything back to it, or they won't understand. Um, I mean, I I imagine like they're both dumb, but I imagine they help each other with schoolwork just by being like, oh, it's like this thing in skateboarding. <laughs> they must. They yeah. must. Like I, learning I mean, about rotational think- force or something like that, and they're just like, oh, like a kickflip. <laughs> well, I mean, you'd think like Ricky must be okay at math. Or something in the math realm, being mm. a engineer, design kind of, yeah, yeah, knowing uh, the mathematic and calculation, and like yeah. having to know the 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 length of a board, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Um, but we cut to after Lunga explain. We cut to Sketchy having a cute ass little nap with the tech Just decks. A little nap. Do you and think they twisted. showed the bed, the board upside down to be like, this is the joke that it's wheels on a board, mm, four wheels? Perhaps, yeah. Maybe like a visual gag. It's it's like a direct copy of Recky's big board Recky's. too. Yeah, which is I, that I remember tech decks being like that. Like you could buy mm. the actual board. Like the tech decks were it's like small. copies of actual boards. That's so cool. Yeah. But does that um, posit that Recky didn't design his board and that someone else designed it? I always thought that was ah. the case. I always assumed the gear was like a brand. Oh. Ah. Yeah. That Recky's just co opted for his self. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, kind of like it's become his, my brand. <laughs> <laughs> My specialize. Um, oh my God, that's an old reference. Uh, Sketchy has cute little eyebrows. Oh my God, he's so cute. He's so cute. He's doing the cat face. Um, They're doing the thing where they roll over and they look at you like yeah. upside down. It's so cute. So cute. Jonathan's oh, been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, he's cute. He's a baby. Good cat. It's the heat was... regulation. What do you mean? Oh, going on their back. Yeah, yeah. cool down the, the little tum. Um, Sketchy went from, like, very playful and annoyed to sleeping <laughs> on the That's at cat the drop behavior. <laughs> yeah, is that, it really is. That is that a classic cat behavior? <laughs> yeah. Um, and that, that, is, that is the end of the minute. We, we linger, pardon me, we linger on this shot of Sketchy for, like, four seconds. Yeah, do you think that was an animation-saving sure. trick? Yeah. 
Yeah. But I mean, you know, do it where you can. Oh, We're only 100%. five minutes into the episode. There's a lot more episode to come. It was a nice little detail. I liked it. I liked it too. Um, and that's that's the minute. That's it. What was your favourite moment? Uh, we, we kind of glossed over it, but I did love the uh, excuse you in the English when they when they heard him talk about the guy from the love hotel. <laughs> um, that whole that whole sequence was very funny. Yeah, I think that was my favorite as well. It made yeah. me laugh a lot. I kind of yeah. had forgotten about it. It was very funny. That and the what is a love hotel? I was laughing about that before we started recording <laughs> a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah, just just Howard. <laughs> Howard, he was great. Yeah, yeah, went off a bit. Um, sweet, sweet. Well, uh, you can tweet at us infinite underscore minute on Twitter. Or you can email us on infinite minute podcast at gmail.com. Um, and I just started a story graph. <laughs> oh, what? I've heard it's superior to Goodreads. Okay, bye. <laughs> While we're talking about social media, <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, next time, the ne- te- next time uh, an episode comes out, it'll probably also have been the Emmys. So we'll have some more oh, shit. chat. <laughs> yeah, nice. Bye. Bye. Bye.